Hello, this short video was created to introduce key Columbus food functionality that are enhancements built seamlessly into the Microsoft Dynamics NAV solution. We're going to focus these videos using dairy industry specific examples. This video will touch on the Columbus Foods quality control and data collection functionality. We'll look at data collection elements, quality control, and then data collections. First, data collection elements are user defined and play a dual role used in both quality control and data collection activities. Data collection elements represent various properties that need to be recorded. A data collection element will be assigned a defined type, which will instruct the system as to what values can be recorded for that element. Here we can see a lookup, which is the value is selected from a list of user defined lookup options, and numeric, the value must fall within a defined range of numeric values. Other options include a boolean, the value is either a yes or no value, represented as a checkbox, or text, the value is entered as a free form text. The actual target values for each data collection element is completed on the master record. We'll take a look at this first through quality control and then again during data collection. The Columbus Food Quality Control module is seamlessly integrated within Dynamics NAV. We are starting at the Quality Control Role Center. Columbus Food has created this role center specific for this module. Data collection elements can be assigned to an item on the item quality test page. This page allows a user to define the data collection elements that will be used as the item's QC tests as well as the target values for each test. The system will use these target values to compare against the eventual actual values entered and determine a pass fail. Placing a check mark in the must pass field will instruct the system that a passing result must be recorded for the quality test in order for that item's lot to successfully pass the entire quality control process. The quality control pending queue and list is where open quality control activities may be viewed. Assignment to QC technicians and due dates may be added for scheduling as well. Let's take a look at a QC activity. The QC activity's general FAST tab displays information such as item number, lot number, and source document. It's possible to create multiple quality control activities for the same item lot, and the entry in the test number field is used to identify each activity. Depending how an item has been configured, a new item lot record is assigned either an expected release date or a release date. As quality control tests are performed, you can record the results in Dynamics NAV. Under the results field, enter a value that represents the result of the quality control test. The type of entry you can make in this field depends on the quality control test's type. For example, if the quality test is numeric, you would not be able to enter a result containing letters. Entering a value outside the target parameters will result in the test failing and possibly the failure of the QC activity itself. Once all the QC results have been recorded, the user can pass or fail the quality control activity. Also, the user can assign a lot status code, which are user defined and identify acceptable business processes for an item and lot. Data collection is the recording of data values. Some examples would be during a production run, the temperature or the speed of a piece of equipment must be recorded, perhaps multiple times during that production run. Or a purchase order receipt needs to have the truck conditions recorded or the integrity of the packaging recorded. Using the example of a production run and recording the temperature multiple times during the run, data collection allows this data to be collected and then we can use the results to alert a group of people if corrections are needed. Likewise, recording the truck conditions on multiple purchase receipts will help business analysis make key business decisions to vendor selections. As we did earlier, user-defined data collection elements are created and linked to a type. Master records and events are linked together through the assignment of data collection elements, indicating that specific data will need to be recorded when that master record and event occurs. Depending on the master record selected, the type of event available may vary. Starting at the Columbus Food QC Technicians Role Center, Notice there are no open alerts. 
For this example, the master record of item has been linked to the event of production and two data collection elements have been assigned with target values. A production order to produce the item and then a data sheet to capture the data collection results has already been generated. From the in-process data sheet queue, we find the actual data sheet and start the process of recording data. When we open the actual data sheet, we'll find there has been some recordings already made. It's time to record the next temperature reading. We'll enter a temperature of 51 degrees outside the acceptable target range. This will trigger an alert to all members of the alert group. When the data collection is complete for the item event, the status can be changed to complete, which finishes the business process. When we navigate back to the role center page, there's now an alert waiting, which requires some action to be taken. A few last points. A data collection element can be set with a frequency to recur hourly, for example. An alert could be sent if a reading is missed. And lastly, data collection elements can have alerts with a hierarchy in cases where some readings require a more serious or high-level notification, while others a supervisor. Thanks so much for taking time to view this video. We anticipate you may have more questions and look forward to hearing from you.